Hi everyone. Well, I'm not going to show you how to play the guitar, but the thing I wanted to show you was how you can actually teach using Zoom and having more than one camera. So a lot of people have just got their webcam connected, maybe it's through their laptop like this MacBook Pro or their computer, and they want to be able to show different angles. Now you could film using different cameras, and what I've done is I've got the GoPro Hero 8 Black connected as a webcam. This is fairly recent that they've done this, and I've got it connected, so this is gonna go through Zoom. And I've also got my Canon EOS R also connected so that I can use this as another camera in Zoom and I can switch cameras doing this. But you may have seen that before, but I'm also gonna show you that you can actually have both cameras at the same time using something called Wirecast, and you can do this with OBS as well. Normally used for live streaming, but actually I can do something like, as using them as something called a virtual camera, so that that can then come out in Zoom here. Now, I do have two videos. The links are below showing you about setting up the GoPro and another video for how to use the EOS R as well and other compatible Canon cameras. And you need to go to their websites to see the, uh, which ones are actually compatible. So I'm just using this as an example. So the reason why this is useful for teaching is you can get better angles on the cameras. You can have more than one angle. If you're doing something like cooking or something where you don't want it spilt on the computer or it would be hard to get the webcam at a good angle, you can get a bit of distance with this as well. And on the Canon here, I've actually got this cable made by Tether Tools. There's a link for this below. In fact, everything you see here, there's a link for to get you started on this. Um, this is 15 feet, about four and a half meters. So that gets me a good distance away. If I was cooking, I'd be able to like zoom in. So I don't need to get the camera up close. I could have the GoPro maybe above it and that way I'm not getting it messy as well. If you were teaching something like mechanics, fixing your car, you could actually then get this even right close up into the engine and things like that. So you're getting the idea of how useful it is. I've got this here on Zoom. So let's just take a look at Zoom. So here right now, I have got the FaceTime camera that's a built-in camera on the MacBook Pro. And I can switch because if I come down to the bottom here, I can click here on the arrow next to where it says stop video and I can choose GoPro webcam. Now I don't want to stop the video as you can see, but now you can see here, I've got a close up of the fretboard with my fingers on here. So what I'm going to do is switch over to this camera here, which is the EOS R. And I'm just going to do that by going to that little arrow next to stop video again and choosing the EOS webcam utility beta and it can take a moment I might need to just switch it off and back on again because it's lost the connection and when that happens just switch it back on and off or unplug and plug in the cable in fact it's probably the cable that's a bit loose there because I was busy showing you the the cable here and you can now see it's got a nice close-up here I could zoom in and out and then you could see if I had the right angle here where I'm picking and what I'm doing. So if I was filming this, I would line this up just to get that just right. So you can see how useful this could be on Zoom to teach and you can switch cameras backwards and forwards. But what could be really, really handy is to see both this camera and this camera simultaneously. And for that, I'm using something called Wirecast. Now the, this is, as I said, is used for live streaming. There is a free version of this called OBS, which can do exactly the same kind of thing. And it uses something called a virtual camera. And that is what's outputting here. And you can see it's got Wirecast virtual camera. In fact, further down, you can see OBS virtual camera, but that's not set up for this. Not today anyway. So let me choose that. And because I've got multiple bits of software, it can take a bit of a moment to connect up. So there we go. You can now see both cameras side by side and I can switch them around and using something like this Wirecast I can switch backwards and forwards. In fact, however many cameras you've got connected to your computer you can see all of those at once and you can see I could then play something here. Now you can imagine this would be great for cooking or anything where you're teaching where you need to see multiple things including perhaps the presenter themselves at the same time and you could actually switch to full screen cameras and so on. And I'm going to do a video for that. So give that a few days. I may have already done it. And if I have, 
the link will be below so you can see how to use Wirecast. And I will do one for OBS as well because they both work in a slightly different way, but do the same thing. So as I said, I've got a video on doing the GoPro webcam, getting that set up, the EOS R webcam, but also this is like for the e any sort of EOS or PowerShot camera that's compatible. As I said, compatible, you need to check the list on the Canon site. Now, if you do like this, please like, share and subscribe. And also come back to the channel because you'll find lots of videos on lots of sort of tech things, including video and photography and how to do them and also how to use Zoom. So hopefully this is a really useful way of being able to teach or even just demonstrate something if you're using Zoom. Hey, you might just want to be using this to show your friends what you're up to and not stuck to the computer somewhere. Thanks for watching and stay safe.